Hi, my name is Jennifer Hootman, and I am the coordinator of digital scholarship at the University of Kentucky Libraries. And um, my presentation today for the CNI project briefing video series is Create UK, a review and recommendations for growing and enhancing campus collaborations. This is a follow up uh, presentation to the CNI fall 2020 virtual membership meeting presentation that I made. It was called Create UK Opportunities for Digital Pedagogy Projects and Collaborative Infrastructure. And I included the, the URL here to the CNI YouTube um, playlist. And um, so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how we even came to this particular program called, called Create UK, uh, please feel free to listen to that one. Uh, you can find Create UK at createuky.net. And as part of a, um, a three-year pilot program uh, that we have that started in 2019, and it ends this June, June 30th, 2022. And as a point of reference, it is a web hosting space for faculty and students to create, manage, and share their research outputs and add academic work in digital form. So Create UK is um, our branded portal for um, a product that we license from Reclaim Hosting. It's called a domain of one's own. And some of the specs behind Create UK is, is that a, a managed private virtual server that accommodates up to 500 users, uh, 30 days of nightly offsite backups, 250 gigabytes of storage, single sign on campus integration, a branded portal that I've mentioned, uh, documentation templates to support um, ourselves as administrators, as well as our community of users. And we've been able to make customizations to that documentation as well, and migration strategies for graduating students. So again, to uh, kind of illustrate a little bit more what Create UK is, our distribution of users um, lies heavily with faculty, libraries, employees, and graduate students uh, with faculty at 33%. Um, that's our biggest group. Uh, libraries, employees at 22%. Graduate students at uh, a little over 20% and a handful of undergrads. And in the other category, we have a number of different individuals that are lecturers, postdocs, scholars, research analysts, uh, data management analysts, instructional de designers, lab technicians, IT professionals, so lots of different uh, types of people on campus that have been interested in knowing um, uh, what Create UK is, uh, utilizing it for their own purposes, and um, uh, some of them also wanting to look under the hood and see what, what it's like and what's available there for the people that they support. Um, so we're Right now, we're right where we're hoping to be, which is re we really have focused with, on faculty and graduate students as our primary group of community users. And uh, that's where, where we want to grow as well, um, increase the number of faculty and graduate students and, and certainly um, supporting undergraduate usage as well. Um, if, if it's very, if it's, if the uses that they, uh, for the undergraduate students for Create UK is specific to a course or a particular research project or, or group project that they have in a course, we're more than happy, of course, to uh, work with undergraduates and um, as well with this particular program. In terms of the distribution of installed applications, again, um, just like the previous graph, this is information from um, the beginning of our pilot 2019 through February 2022. So you can see who the clear winner is here, WordPress. So we have almost 100 installs of WordPress, um, a handful of Omeka sites and Scalar as well. And in that other category, category again, there are um, a few Drupal sites uh, that have been established. Grav has also been installed on um, a couple of accounts. And um, a number of uh, WordPress-based profile templates have been utilized uh, for po uh, creating portfolios in particular. Um, I'd like to also talk a little bit about the ways in which Create UK has been used by our, our uh, community over the pilot. And uh, one area is faculty research. And so we've had a number of projects um, and these are all out of, it, these examples are all out of the College of Arts and Sciences. The Bitter ALO project by Dr. Stephen Davis um, is a great example. He's in the history department and uh, he has developed a number of um, digital humanities projects around the truth and reconciliation um, transcripts out of South Africa, um, some digital mapping, um, some machine learning um, that he has applied to uh, the, the transcripts and um, have 
yielded a number of a very interesting, interesting and fascinating results that can be utilized by other researchers. Um, and he's using the Create UK platform to share out that research. Um, we also have the Documenting Racial Violence in Kentucky project that um, has been getting underway this past year. And uh, um, student interns are working with some um, faculty uh, creating biographical sketches as well as uh, digital mapping that they're going to display through their Create UK site. Um, we have uh, Kentucky Hispanic Heritage Project just starting, um, which is oral history and also a language atlas program, or excuse me, project that is starting as well, um, where uh, some um, language maps will be uh, uh, created or excuse me, displayed on a Create UK website that can be utilized by other scholars around the world. We've also um, had a number of research lab sites set up um, a number of faculty in the College of Medicine, particular, particularly the Sanders Brown Center on Aging, the College of Pharmacy and College of Health Sciences has a number of faculty that have really had the need to share their research. Um, so they have these websites. Um, I think all of them are WordPress where they've been, like I said, sharing their research, but also um, explaining what their research is um, to a wider public, uh, showcasing who is working on that research in the lab, uh, what kind of funding that they've received, uh, the publications that they've uh, made um, are all shared on this particular site and it's been helpful for them in terms of funding, I'm sure, but also uh, to recruit and to uh, whether it be people to work in the lab as well as to recruit uh, other people to collaborate with um, in their field. So these research lab websites have been um, advantageous for those, um, again, in the College of Medicine, Pharmacy and Health Sciences in particular. We also have um, some growing examples of course projects and portfolios. We've had classes that have assigned students to create uh, teaching portfolios, for instance. Uh, we've had classes that have utilized um, in this in these two cases that I have uh, as a screen capture on the um, presentation. They've utilized WordPress to uh, showcase student writing. And the students are also learning to uh, use WordPress in addition to um, sharing their writing publicly. And so some of the programs that have been um, fac in faculty in these programs that have been um, using Create UK for the classes have been out of the Writing, Rhetoric, and Digital Studies uh, program, the School of Music, and the Modern and Classical Languages, Literatures, and Cultures. And we hope to really grow those um, uh, use cases as well. And lastly, we've had um, some digital exhibits that have been created. Uh, one in particular here called 1918 over here utilizes Omeka um, on the Create UK platform. And um, this was a nice project uh, showcasing digitized materials in our archives at the University of Kentucky Libraries, um, which uh, tell the story of the Student Army Training Corps and uh, the Spanish influenza epidemic during this period of time, um, a very timely topic, topic um, and a nice exhibit. We also have an exhibit uh, utilizing WordPress uh, for, to uh, promote some anti-racism readings that we have in our collection. So that's, those are many of the different um, uh, ways in which Create UK has been used by our community at UK. And we, since we're nearing the end of our pilot, uh, we have recently issued a survey um, and got, I think, a, a useful amount of people that have responded. 31 responses were received. And out of the 120 some, I believe, accounts, um, uh, I was hoping for a little bit more, but uh, as is the case with a lot of surveys, um, uh, right now we'll take what we can get in terms of uh, feedback and the feedback has been very um, helpful and it's been uh, delightful to see. It's, it's very, um, it's very satisfying on our end to be able to see that overall, uh, the majority of our users have been satisfied with uh, Create UK generally as the platform um, and satisfied with technical support, as well as the number and choice of applications that are available on the platform. So uh, it's good to see that the um, overwhelming majority are satisfied um, with Create UK. Um, but of course, you know, there's always work to be done to improve this, uh, this level of satisfaction. 
And it is nice to get uh, sort of to take the temperature of our community in this way. And um, it does give us that feedback at least. Uh, one of the more critical questions that we had in the survey was, do you think Create UK has enhanced support for research, teaching, and learning at UK? And um, this is an area that I would like to explore further that I'll touch upon here in a moment. But um, again, it's, it's great to see that um, uh, about 82% of those responded thought that is somewhere between somewhat enhanced to greatly enhanced. So this is, this is very positive and it's nice to see this, this um, positive feedback from most of our, our users are, um, have seen the impact that Create UK has had either for their research or for their teaching and learning. And here's just some of the feedback that we've received, again, that sort of highlights the affordability, the UK branded portal, and um, uh, the help around um, having one place to go to for uh, platforms to utilize for digital projects uh, in class so that uh, basically a time saver for the faculty. So. We have here a few that I'll read. I really do think that we need resources like this so that we aren't going all over the internet looking for things that are going to work for our needs. When there are standard programs that we know we can count on, then that helps me build my syllabus and speak to the students with authority. So um, it sounds like for this, this user that this has been a, a, a considerable time saver as well as um, you know something that they feel that they can count on and to feel good about using um, with their students. Another one is say Create UK ended up being perfect for my online course and students were able to affordably learn about the process of building a website, both from scratch using HTML, CSS and using a CMS. And in this case, um, uh, this particular one says most opted for WordPress. <laughs> um, and then um, another one here says liked that it was cleaner than using a free uh, web app for my website and that it is UK branded. Um, and then lastly, I learned a lot and I know that if I were to use it in the future, I would be a lot more prepared. Even with the learning curve between me and my students, we were still able to create something really interesting and that I was proud to be a part of. So uh, that last statement actually is very meaningful to me because it, there's, there's an honesty there about, you know, this was, you know, there's some learning curve here, but even with that, you know, we produced something that was worthwhile and uh, looks like this person would likely be com likely come back to use Create UK again in the future with their classes. But that also points to one of the things um, that uh, we want to do uh, going forward. So we're renewing. So uh, renewal is also uh, is um, a very good thing. And we're, I'm glad uh, personally that we're moving forward with this. And I think there's so much more we can do with Create UK in growing it. And the ways in which that I see moving forward uh, in growing Create UK, I think increasing collaborations with uh, specific entities on campus, fostering partnerships and strengthening our support technically and innovating around how we assess Create UK. So those are the four areas that I, that I see moving forward that um, uh, would be great to uh, delve into. And um, with increasing collaboration, one uh, unit in particular on campus that I think that uh, we need to do more with is our Center for the Enhancement of Learning and Teaching. And um, I think that collaborate, collaboration needs to um, uh, be deeper and uh, hopefully we can innovate uses for Create UK in support of digital pedagogy that's happening on campus. Um, I also think that uh, we need to foster partnerships with a variety of academic units and faculty um, and deepen those partnerships so that we um, are part of the process of embedding that digital literacy education in the curricula. And strengthening support, um, I'm thinking technically here in terms of helping users um, get started as was mentioned a moment, ago, a moment ago and in other remarks in our uh, survey, I could definitely see that there was some need, uh, some, some supports that need to be in place for faculty in particular, just getting started with Create UK. One email explaining how to get started just isn't enough. I think maybe there needs to be some short video tutorials that highlight um, specifically how this looks and what to do um, with our portal um, and how to get started installing applications and uh, utilizing those applications, working with students. Um, and innovation around assessments is a, a final thought that I have here. Um, we have plenty of, so far, um, quantitative data 
uh, we need a, more qualitative data. We need more feedback around, in particular, what I'm thinking here is uh, measuring student success and measuring the impact of Create UK um, on students and on faculty. And we really need to get at that core um, more and uh, learn learn from the faculty and students exactly how uh, this is uh, this program is having an impact. So that's the end of my presentation. Um, hopefully there will be more to come in the future about Create UK. I'm very excited about the future um, of this particular program. And um, I think there's a lot of exciting developments um, yet to be had. So uh, thank you for listening. And if you have any questions about Create UK, please feel free, feel free to contact me at any time. And um, again, my name is Jennifer Hootman and I'm at the University of Kentucky Libraries. And my email is jlhootman at uky.edu. Thank you.